hello guys uh, welcome back to my channel if you are new to this channel do wait to like and subscribe to this video and click the notification bell so you can see any of my new video so today what we have before us is how to test transistor using our digital multimeter now when we talk about transistor so to say transistor is a combination of diode and it has three legs so but don't let us go too deep into that theory part so now let me just do a very brief intro into multimeter so you know the part we want to really use there today okay now when you look at the first part here you know we have one v here we have another v here but if you notice this sign you can see this sign this wave sign and the other one is straight line that is to indicate to you this straight line indicates direct direct voltage why this other one indicate alternative current that means this side can really shock you it's very very dangerous why this other one is still safe to a very good extent except when you are dealing with a very high voltage like 200 to 600 but ac whether it's 200 or 600 is very very dangerous so this part here is hump here why this other side here is for hfe why this one is to test for your continuity why the other one you can see this home sign that is to test the resistance of your material so it's based on what you're working on but today what i want to really deal with is this area this hfe that is to indicate how to test for your transistor to know whether it's pmp type of transistor or mpn type of transistor now let's look at this area now now you can see this place it says hfe that is where we want to really work on so let's switch it to that side now okay i've switched to hfe you can see it now okay and now look at this side now you see two major sign here you see the first one says npn why the other one say pmp type so that is this npn based on the type of tra transistor you are dealing with we have two major type of transistor we have the npn type and we have the pnp that is the negative positive negative why the positive negative positive based on the orientation of the designer and based on what you want to use it for now if you look at this ebce now this e stand for your emitter why your b start for stand for your base why the other c stand for your collector so but the transistor i have here is that because the name is trans that is to tell you it's three so we have the the emitter the base and the collector so now what we do now look at this side you see one side is flat and the other side is curve right so the side flat will be facing me now let's put it inside you see all this part here you can see so we want to just deal with this three the emitter base and the collector now so based on the orientation of the one facing me it's starting with emitter so now let's put it inside now and now we are not so sure whether this is pmp or npm please get it very right so just put it there want to do trial we'll put it in pmp and we'll put it in npm so we'll be able to determine whether this transistor is npn type or pmp type so now remember the flat side is facing me and now when we put it inside let's see what will happen I'm putting it in, the, in I believe you can see it okay okay now let's check the reading you can see it so this transistor is 351 MPN transistor that is for this transistor now that is to tell you is now look at it very well please you can see it's currently at my MPN position not PNP position you understand is that this side and that side is under NPN category so now that is to tell you this is NPN but in case you are doubting just put it in the PNP area there now if I switch it to the other side let's see can you see any reading nothing at all that is to tell you this transistor is not PNP it is NPN no reading in the PNP section so let's switch it back to NPN you can see it's working here so this transistor is 351 to 352 transistor and it is npn type of transistor now let me check the second one i have here with me so we'll be so sure okay now remember the flat side will face you so put it in let's put it in pmp first okay can you see anything nothing so this is to tell you this is not pmp now let's put it in npn You can see it now. This is reading 362 
MPN type of transistor. So that is to tell you this is MPN type of transistor. So guys, that is how to test transistor. Whether you, you want to test for your PMP or MPN, no problem. Just put it in those positions. Once you put it here, it will give you the exact value of that transistor you are working with. So that, that is how to test it. Do wait to like and subscribe to this video. Thank you so much. See you in the next video.